remembering those who lost their lives in the line of duty. It's the second anniversary of Spartanburg Deputy Austin Aldrich's end of watch. He was shot and killed while responding to a call on June 21st, 2022. He was just 25 years old. Tonight, Fox Carolina's Anna Arinder is live at the YMCA of Greater Spartanburg. That's where fallen emergency responders from across the Carolinas are being honored tonight. Anna. Yeah, Dana, that's right. And this is called the uh, Carolina Brotherhood Ride. And this is made up of a group of cyclists, all firefighters, EMS, law enforcement officials uh, taking part in this ride of honor this year, especially here in Spartanburg, honoring Deputy Austin Aldridge. And right now we do have one of the fire chiefs uh, from Wilmington, Steve Mason, with us. He actually took part in the ride a little bit ago. You kind of took a stop uh, here uh, just a few moments ago. Uh, tell us a little bit about what this ride is. I know everybody kind of has their own reason for doing this. What is what is your reason and, and why why this ride? Sure. So this this ride is really all about never forgetting. That's 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 really what it's all about. We we ride across North and South Carolina, honoring uh, the men and women of first responders of police, fire, and law enforcement uh, agencies, like you said, uh, or um, EMS agencies, and. Um, we're, we come through town and we meet with the families and we meet with the brothers and sisters that worked along with those folks who passed away in the line of duty and we just let them know that we're here for you, your loved ones and your and your brothers and sisters are not forgotten. And, uh, and that's really what it's all about, is just making sure that those people who made the ultimate sacrifice for their communities are remembered and, uh, and, and for us to be able to come and just support those families and just, you know, just let them know that we'll always remember your loved ones and the sacrifice that they made. And in times like this, we always talk about how this really is a brotherhood. Those threads run very deep mm. as first responders. Um, being able to go to different parts across South Carolina and North Carolina, visiting with families and talking with folks, um, you don't know everyone, unfortunately, that's lost their life, but how does that kind of bring it closer to home or really connect across all of these threads? Well, it, we're all we, we're all kind of the same. We just wear different patches, and there's a different sign above the door, right? But we're all we're all very much the same when it comes to public safety and and the community and and just how tight of a family the first responder community is. And so times like these are opportunities for us not only to for us to get together, but for for someone like me that's a fire chief or a, lo a leader back in his or his or her organization, it's a it's a reality check for me in a lot of ways because I, I see the impact that a line of duty death has on a community and certainly a family. And you see the children and the, and the wives or the husbands are, that are left behind. And it makes me want to go back to my community and make sure that I'm doing everything that I can for our people to make sure that I'm doing what I can to keep them safe. And so um, it's, a, it's kind of a celebratory week you know, because we all get together and, and kind of pick up where we left off. Um, but it is a very solemn week. We get to meet a lot of families who are still hurting uh, and who are still struggling to live without their loved ones that passed away. And so, um, so yeah, it's just it's just a it's just a great week. You know, it's a great week of, of brotherhood and sisterhood, but also of support. Well, Chief Mason, thanks so much for taking the time. Sure. I know you guys uh, ride about 600 miles throughout this entire course yep. from Elizabeth, North Carolina, all the way down to Columbia. Yep. Day five yep. uh, today. One more day. To go. One more day. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, what is one last thing you would like people to know, especially uh, about the fundraising and kind of the, the mission behind you all as well? So all of the money that we raise goes to the families. So there are, you know, there, there are some costs that are associated with this, but the money that we raise goes to those families. And um, that's, it might not be a whole lot, but it's a little something. And it goes along with us just never forgetting. And that's what I would say to the community out there is like, you know, your first responders, your public servants are out there doing what they can to protect you and your family and spending time away from there. So. It's really important to never forget those folks that made the ultimate sacrifice. 
Well, Chief Mason, again, thank you so much for, for taking the time to speak with us. Those riders uh, coming in just a few moments ago before we went live here, and they're all back there celebrating, taking a well-deserved rest. Uh, as the night continues, we're going to be talking to Deputy Aldridge's family. We know that uh, his father-in-law is here tonight, so we're going to be talking to him, hopefully, uh, and just getting his response and kind of how he feels seeing all of this taking place tonight. Live in Spartanburg, Anna Arinder, Fox Carolina News.